We have now some breaking developments tonight in that funeral home investigation in East Fort Worth. One of the people under investigation for the bodies left in the vacant building has been arrested, but not for charges related to this specific case. Fox Force Brandon Todd in East Fort Worth with more right now. Brandon. Exactly. Steve Dondre Johnson arrested at 745 this evening on his way to church, we're told. The Tarrant County Constable's Office in Precinct 7 made that arrest. That warrant, as you mentioned, had nothing to do with this investigation. It was for non-payment of child support. Johnson was taken and booked into the Tarrant County Jail. This coming on the same day that the medical examiner released the names and identities of all but one of the bodies in the uh, mortuary. Uh, the families, of course, who have been notified throughout the day came here to the mortuary for some answers. You didn't just hurt me. You hurt my family. You hurt other people's families. Yvonne Stewart just learned that her aunt, Helen Jones, had not been cremated back in April, as Stewart says was supposed to happen. Her body was one of eight found in the Johnson family mortuary in East Fort Worth. Where's her ashes? You know, I didn't hear them say they pulled out some ashes out of here. I heard them say they pulled out bodies out of there. You know, so where's her ashes? The Tarrant County Medical Examiner's Office confirms six of the bodies were female adults. Two were stillborn infants. Fort Worth police are investigating what could lead to a charge of abuse of corpse. Dondre and Derek Johnson, twin brothers, operated the funeral home. The bodies were found by the owner of the building when he was evicting the Johnsons. The body of Victoria Vasquez has been in there for possibly more than a month. Her family got this from Dondre's wife. I apologize. I apologize. Yes, I apologize. Johnson also returned the $150 the Vasquez family paid for an urn only a fraction of what they paid for the cremation that was never done. There was mistakes that was made, and I'm here to say I can own up to that. How can you tell me that you take full responsibility and then still tell me at the end of that conversation that you don't understand and you don't know why or how my grandmother, why she wasn't in the process of being cremated? When you don't know, you're trusting that these people you trusted to take care of, you know, your family member, that they're going to do what's right and they didn't do what was right. Now, the Texas Funeral Services Commission has Rachel Johnson as the owner of the business. It tells us the license here expires in about a month or so, and because of the five complaint investigations and this current investigation, it will not be renewed. Steve? All right, Brandon, yesterday, Dondre Johnson, who you said was arrested uh, earlier today, was pretty theatrical when he said that they had done nothing wrong and that the truth would come out in the end. But it doesn't sound like, according to investigators, that he's been entirely truthful, or they don't think he's been entirely truthful. Is that right? Well, exactly. I mean, it sort of uh, seemed as though yesterday he was uh, kind of aloof about this uh, eviction uh, that we've been talking about. And the Tarrant County Constable's office says he definitely knew about it, although he may have said he didn't, because the Tarrant County Constable's office delivered that eviction notice to him at his house. So they're contradicting what he's kind of saying in the media as well. And again, some of the things that he's claiming to be truth, Steve, are turning out uh, not to be quite the truth. Okay. Brandon Todd, live tonight at East Fort Worth. Thank you.